Welcome back to another episode of Sunday Travels. Today's guest is Anna McAvoy. Now we have been friends for a very long time, since back in the modeling days. We're making a delicious prawn and papaya salad, Thai flavors, and what I love about it is this really beautiful dressing. And it's great because we've got cocoa earth, liquid coconut oil, so we can mix all those beautiful flavors together and it's gonna be delicious. You make it look so easy, that's the thing. <laughs> Keeping all my fingers in town. <laughs> exactly, we need those. It's yeah. just like I remember it in Thailand. Really? It's like I've been transported back. I think I'm just gonna invite myself over. Done. <laughs> How are you? Thanks, come in. Thank you. Anna, I'm so happy having you in the Hi. kitchen. It feels like we've been hanging out the whole time. Like, I know. My cheeks are hurting already. <laughs> we haven't started. It's so good to see you. I it's know. been too long. I know, I know. And we're making a really yummy dish today. Yeah. So you're inspired by your travels. Yes. What are we making? We are making papaya salad. It's one of my favorite all-time dishes. It's my... I want it to be my go-to, but I don't know how to cook it, so you're going to help me. That's what I'm here for. And then I'm going to make it all the time. Yeah, no, I mean, it's so simple. And what I love about it is all those textures that are there, but, yeah. you know, it's so Moorish and delicious. I'm going to show you a few little techniques, so you'll be a pro. Perfect. I'm excited. <laughs> Let's do it. So the first thing is our green papaya. So you have to make sure that you get a green papaya. So people are wondering, you know, what that is. It's just literally a raw papaya so you know it, if you left this on the tree a little bit longer it would just ripen go yellow and you know but you can get this at a lot of marketplaces cool. and it's there so i'm going to show you a little technique on how to do this because this is kind of more of the traditional way to do it awesome. how's your knife skills going they're not good but you did <laughs> send me this knife and i have to tell you it's so much sharper than all of the all of the knives i've been using so i think i've been doing it wrong <laughs> now this is when you need to be a little bit careful obviously keep your fingers away okay but it's literally just the traditional way is just to go all the way around with the knife. Wow. And as you can see, they start to pop up these beautiful little slightly julienne pieces. But I feel like doing it this way, it's a much nicer texture. And I don't know if it's because it's like the love that you're putting into it, yeah. lot, but it does. <laughs> and it, and it, it is labor of love. So it takes a while to go all the way around and you'll see they start to kind of flick out you make it look so easy. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I was do I give her a go or not? I'm no. like, mm. <laughs> like, we've got um a lot of things coming up, so. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping all my fingers in town. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, we need those. Although, do you need that fingers for a podcast? I mean, no, technically not, but I prefer to keep them. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to show you as it's going everywhere, of course but you can just like slice those off and then keep wow. making your way all the way around. So that looks beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you're getting enticed. You want to try it, don't you? I think I, I, think <laughs> I should try. I'm here. <laughs> okay, go for it. Okay. <laughs> so just, it's really soft, like gen okay. gently, you know. Like this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as smooth as you, but I'm, yeah, I'm happy. I think it's amazing. You're doing it. There you go. See? Well, I shouldn't take my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't do that. I don't think you've um, advanced to that level. Yeah, no, I'm, st I'm still an amateur. <laughs> <laughs> no, but look how good that is. You can see, you know, they're all starting to break and you can kind of go on a slight angle. Yeah, this part's a little bit more like just take it easy. I think that's as good as I'm going to get. But yeah, I'm, but I'm that's amazing. That. <laughs> Calming it back already. <laughs> But and I, I mean, I'd love to hear about, you know, a bit about your story because we've been friends for, I don't know how long, like 10 years probably, maybe more. I really love following all of the things that you're doing Thank and you've you. got such a like positive mindset and, and it is hard. And, and, and I often think, you know, when there are things thrown at you that are, um, you know, probably hurt personally to hear them mm. and to see that you're still so positive and still shining bright. Yeah, I mean, it's all there's always ups and downs with anything amazing. There's always a little yeah. bit of negativity. Um, I recently became a Bully Zero ambassador. Oh, that's amazing. Which I'm really proud of. Um, yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of online hate, as yeah. you know. Um, 
And I really wanted to make a stand against it. I have a younger audience that follows me. So I do feel a sense of responsibility to really make a firm stance against bullying. And yeah, I'm really proud to be a part of the team and hopefully deter people from going down that road. Cause I mean, yeah, life's meant to be happy and fun and, I know. and cooking. And, yeah. and, you know? So you'll see, you know, you've basically gotten to the core okay. and then that's done. Now the fun part, you can get started onto the dressing. Okay. <laughs> I'll get you to start putting the ingredients together. So we've got some vinegar. You can use just plain white vinegar if you have that at home okay. or, you know, anything is fine. Some sugar, some fish sauce, and then liquid coconut oil. I love this um, brand, Coca Earth, because it stays liquid all the time and you can okay. make like a really nice dressing. Cool. And then I've made like a little Thai spice for you. Yeah. Blend, so a little bit of that. So you Amazing. can start putting all that together. Cool. And I'll get you some chili. <laughs> so am I putting it all in? <laughs> I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Vinegar, you can put in all of that vinegar into into the bowl. Yeah. That's good. And then the sugar, you can put in about 2 tablespoons. So <laughs> I'm not a really I'm a really bad cook. I don't okay. know if you can tell. <laughs> so sugar. So you can put in like maybe a tablespoon and a half so you can okay. place that in. And now fish sauce, you can put about a tablespoon and a half of that one. Okay. And this is fun. <laughs> Are you going to be able to make this at home? I want to I'm see. I'm really it. trying to remember everything. Like a tablespoon and a half of fish sauce. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, you can put in some of the spice blend. Now, this is um, basically, it's similar to like spices that you would put even in like a pad thai. So there's okay. more like kind of. Um, tangy sort of flavors. So there's a bit of um, mango powder in there, which is like really tart as well. So it adds a nice flavor in. So about half a tablespoon of that. I'm gonna just get this chili nice and finely chopped. Now this is just, um, you know, a long red chili. So it's not really spicy. The thing about cooking is like people get quite intimidated at times and you think like too much, but you can always balance it and, you know, work it out and taste as you go along. So it's okay. And um, about um, a tablespoon and a half or two tablespoons of the liquid coconut oil. And the flavor of this is really good because it adds a kind of coconut flavor, like, you know, coats all the beautiful papaya and it's delicious. So my chili is almost done. I feel like I'm back in Thailand with all the smells. It smells delicious. Yeah, it is. very fresh. I'll go in with the chili. So I'll get you to give that one a little stir. Cool. Yeah, I love my spicy food. Yeah, do you? Yeah, okay, I put good. like spice on everything. Really? Now I just need you to pop in some lime so you can give those a squeeze in there as well. So it's kind of like salty, sweet, you know, tangy, umami yeah. from the fish sauce. So it's a really like hugely fa- flavorsome sauce. Mm. And now onto the herbs. So now if you can't get a hold of all the authentic, um, you know, Thai herbs, Vietnamese mint, um, you know, Thai basil, then you can just use fresh mint. But I managed to get everything today. And the difference is like, I guess the flavor of these is, it's almost like a bit more, not slightly medicinal, like it just has a bit more of a stronger kind of flavor, which is nice. So that's why I kind of like to add um, a bit of the Thai basil, a bit of, this is the Vietnamese mint here. Yeah. So this one's a bit more of a stronger kind of flavor. Just add lots of herbs in there. I have gotten some nice big juicy prawns. They look delicious. <laughs> I'm excited. I saw them before. Okay. Lots of those fresh herbs. I'm going to go yeah. in with the prawns and I'll get you to put in about four tablespoons. looks so good how easy was that i can't wait to recreate this at home yeah and let's eat it (laughs) oh yum this looks so good and you can smell it as well you can smell it and it smells divine it i'm gonna serve you thank you i'm really excited because i feel like i can now recreate this which is 
the goal of today. Okay. Wow. Mm, Yum. That's incredible. It's so fragrant and fresh and there's so much flavor, but it feels really like light. Yeah. It's Yum. just like I remember it in Thailand. Really? I feel like I've been transported back. I'm excited. I did it justice then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you definitely did. Thank you so much. I don't know if you know this actually, but I grew up traveling a lot. So from a really young age, I lived all over the world and I moved wow. to Australia when I was 12. And then I know we both traveled with modeling and I think it just gives you like a really different perspective. Like you're just more open to change. And yeah, like, I think you said it before, like you, ha you realize that you have to be really nice to people. Otherwise <laughs> not going to have any friends. Yeah, exactly. Like we're, we're on our own and yeah. you go and travel to this other country where you're on a modeling, you know, uh, stint and you don't know anyone and you have to make friends and you have to be, nice so mm. i think it really does give you an understanding of different cultures and and different food and food is so nostalgic don't you think like oh, it totally. brings you back to like really fun holidays or yeah. travels or whatever it is you said you like chili i love chili. i made a chili sauce range you have to try <gasps> wow it's coming out Beautiful. sweet chili this is inspired by thailand okay amazing you have to try can i fuck some yeah yeah <laughs> i get some now <laughs> You know, the other night I was um, at home and I literally, I listened to three episodes of your podcast back to back. Thank you. It was like 11, 12 o'clock at night and I just got so hooked as <laughs> I, like, I could not stop listening. And I, I mean, you're so open and honest and like, how is it to... You just like chat away about all these things going on in your life. I, I wish I could be like that. Yeah. I mean, look, I... I, I'm a very open book, I guess. Mm. Um, I've always loved talking about relationships and really delving deep into dating and things like that. And I have a really great friend, Matt, who's yeah. my co-host. And we've just always had amazing chats together. And we were like, we should do a podcast because some like this is funny. And a lot of people listen to our podcast, Where's Your Head At? And they're like, we get hooked because it's just light. It's not mm. too serious, but they, they find themselves laughing out loud. And I mean, that was our goal, starting the yeah. podcast <laughs> and for that to come to fruition and people are actually loving it and enjoying it. I mean, it's such a blessing. It's just a really positive thing that you're doing. So yeah. it's amazing. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> it. So where is your head at? <laughs> <laughs> My head right now is on this little <laughs> salad because it's delicious. <laughs> I need to come over to your house more. I, know. I already knew you were an excellent cook, but I think I'm just going to invite myself over. Done. I'm happy. You can give relationship and dating advice to me. I'll take it. Done. Done. It's a good swap. Yeah. <laughs> a 